Hello there, doll lovers. So today I'm going to open up my American uh, Champions Serena Williams because the condition of this box is uh, laughable at best. A friend of mine, her father recently has passed away. She said that he used to be in the business of um, wheeling and dealing with toys and dolls and stuff and having you know, uh, booths and reselling. So he kind of had this reputation as being known as the toy man. She said he was very strict on his prices. If the tag said $5, it was non-negotiable. It was only $5. She said it's probably one of the reasons why there's so much back stock and why there's tubs upon tubs of things that she and her sister are going to have to go through and it's a little overwhelming. So some of these items are loose because the rubber bands have melted and frayed. This is back in the day when we had the metal twisties. So let's go ahead and get those out. So anyway, um, this is the same friend that I am doing the customization job for on the DC superheroes turned into the DC bombshells. So um, she asked if I could do one more character, and I told her I wanted to at least wait till I got the original four done. I'm practically done with them. So um, I told her, yeah, I've got time. I can do it. And she's like, you know, as payment, I can't pay you, but I could give you some stuff that, you know, I've recently found. So a whole bunch of loose dolls and loose clothing and some Fashion Avenue uh, Ken packs that I have actually um, have sitting here next to me. So I was like, yes, especially since it turned out one of the dolls was a Generation Girl. So I agreed to it and we are going to open up Serena. And it just dawned on me that the dolls that she gave me that are in box Serena Williams, and then the Generation Girl, Nichelle Williams, but no relation. So let's get this. Oh, and the tape was some strong tape back then. So her legs are so terribly sun faded that they are green. Yes, I don't know how long this baby sat in the sun, but this doll is 18 years old. So, uh, yeah, it comes with a uh, collector's card. It's a little warped. She's got her own personalized gym bag. And she's got the body mold. Uh, remember when the Spice Girls came out? Dolls? I think she's got a Spice Girl kind of doll body. So there's her bag. It's got some tissue paper stuffed in, but it's open enough. We got a nice handy dandy tennis racket. This canister has some balls in it, but I'm not gonna get, cut the tape off. I don't want them to go loose. Even her water bottle has her name. And does the cap move? No, it just looks like it might. She comes with some tennis shoes. She has pointed angle feet. And this is a small visor in comparison to Barbie visors I'm used to. That one's a little tiny, but that's okay. Now, let's see if I can just pull this without tearing anything else up. There, there we go. Okay. And then there's that thread that was holding her hair. All right. Woo! What a workout. All right, so. She's got a very unique face mold, a very large nose, wide smile. Uh, her head is kind of narrower at top and then it kind of widens out so it's very oval shaped. Her hair is a series of braids on the top and then underneath is curls with a little bit of blonde highlight in the back. It's in a ponytail. The ponytail, that's thread. Okay, it's thread. 
Uh, she's wearing a gold necklace, a gold bracelet. She's got a black bracelet over here. And her hands look really small. The rubber band is just fraying and melted and just crumbling. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I might gonna have to rebody her. Look at this. I know it looks a little brown, but in comparison to her arm, they are green. Her legs are very green. Of course, we could always say, hey, she's just wearing tights. This is a cute little tennis dress. And it comes with separate underwear. It was back in the day when dolls wore underwear. She's actually really cool. Just the um, rotation at the shoulder. Uh, no pivotal waist, no pivotal waist, and just front leg movement and snap joint knees. This is an older body, and she could definitely use some rebodying. I will have to just find a match because you can't have a tennis player be so stiff. Was this made by Mattel? I don't know. It's just her. It's not even like the fresh dolls that at least have elbow articulation, but her hands just like look so flat and narrow. Hmm. But either way, this is still pretty cool. And her her lipstick actually has a metallic sheen to it. And her she has gold eyeshadow. You can actually see the individual lines of her eyebrow drawn. And it looks like she's wearing some uh, light lavender uh, eyeshadow up here. She's pretty cool. All in all, I'm still happy. Skin on my lip. Um, very happy to have her, and um, I will definitely be trying to find a body for her, but hey, at least it's still cool, and that's the great thing about the doll community, is that we can barter and trade, rather than exchange money for uh, the favors that we do each other, and of course, when you're friends, and you know people, so it's like, yeah, that even works better, so this is pretty cool. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching this review, and stay tuned for other things that will be coming along soon.